what's going on everyone welcome back to the channel and um, today we're going to be working on the 240 again uh this is going to be kind of what we're going to be doing for here till spring is working on this 240. uh the boat is actually in arkansas right now getting upholstery work done uh which will be awesome once that's done but uh we're not here to talk about the boat we're here to talk about the 240 and the 4200 going in so on the last video i did tell you guys that uh the transmission was hitting the tunnel i believe and we went ahead and fixed that issue kind of uh the factory transmission mounts were in the way so i went ahead and ripped them things out uh it's not pretty as you can see you can still see some of the uh old mounts are still there but uh we go ahead went ahead and uh pulled them things out so we can raise this thing up just a little bit higher i feel like i'm just an inch i just need an inch and this thing will fit with the factory cross member in it so we're going to go ahead and stuff this thing back in see how it fits and it also i'm going to go ahead and take a hood of mine i've got a uh 280z hood right here which is going to probably be the hood that we use for this car now uh, other than the hood that i have that came with which is really cool but it just doesn't fit the car anymore because of the fact that uh it the the old l28 engine the exhaust and the intake are over here and that's where the heat needs to come out where i am the opposite direction now i have the exhaust over here and that's where the heat needs to get outside of the car so that's why I'm going to that hood instead of the hood that I had on this car. Um, I am trying to sell the hood, so if anybody's interested in that old hood, uh, I'll let you guys, um, I'll sell it. Um, but yeah. So, another thing that we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to change out this. This is the uh, shifter that comes with the Tremac T56 Magnum. And we're going to go ahead and swap it out for a tick shifter uh now i could just leave that one in and just so i don't have to damage this one but i also want to take the shifter and put that on and it is kind of a side gate type deal and it fits only in these and not in this unfortunately so got to switch them out so i can put the shifter in there and see how it all fits like shifting wise because if it's too far forward too far back it's hitting the dash or something like that i don't want that so uh yeah i'm gonna stop rambling we're gonna get it after this thing real quick uh put you guys on a time lapse as i put this thing in the car and then uh see how it all fits Alrighty, as you guys can see, the motor is in the car. And super pumped about this. It, it all fits very well. Uh, there is a couple things that need to be addressed to make it fit 100%. And how about I show you guys? I'm gonna grab my light off the bit. Okay, got the light. Now, gotta go down here. Get some light going on. All right, first problem. Right now, pretty much sitting on the cross member. Get this thing sitting. Just sit, sit, stay there. Okay, so it's sitting really well. Uh, it is clearing, but uh, unfortunately, I've also got about half an inch, maybe three quarter of an inch of a gap on the. Uh, cross member to the actual where it bolts up so this is going to be an issue now there's a couple things i can do one i could cut this out and just kind of give it a nice little relief for the pan 
which more than likely I'll probably do, or I can make spacers and let this drop down a little bit and then I can just adjust the shocks and a few other odds and ends stuff. The next thing that is an issue is these uh, rack mounts. Now the rack mounts sit too high right now for this motor. Uh, there is some things I could probably do. I could maybe remake this oil pan, which might happen, might not. Uh, another thing I can do is cut these off and remake mounts and just kind of drop them down to like down here a little bit. It just, it doesn't need a lot, maybe an inch, inch and a half more of clearance and the rack should be right where it needs to be, which is awesome. So more than likely I'll end up cutting these out and making new mounts for the rack, which is sitting over there on the floor, if you can see it and uh should work for the most part i think i don't know more for sure though i'm probably gonna cut these off so on to the next thing i am rambling oh goodness oh, okay now we're up nothing's broken all right so next thing the uh t56 is hooked up to the motor uh as you can see plenty of clearance so far that I have noticed. I haven't dug deep, deep into it, but it is fitting very well. Now, inside the car, as you guys can see, there's the shifter in. Uh, I've got the tick short throw shifter in there, and it clears in between here and here. Uh, I might trim it up a little bit just to uh, give it a little bit more clearance, but everything works it's kind of loose but yeah everything works it's not in the way at all not hitting the dash um if i put the center console in there i guarantee it's going to clear and it feels very comfortable in the car which i'm super happy about uh underneath the car got a little bit more work to do so let's get underneath the car Oh, goodness. All right. Now, we're underneath the car. And as you can see, the transmission is sitting very, very well um, underneath this car. It shouldn't be an issue. Ground clearance is definitely not going to be a problem. Um, as you can see, let's see if I can get the camera. There we go. Plenty of room in between the tunnels. So I don't have to beat the tr tunnel out at all. Now, uh, I have seen... Uh, a few companies they make transmission mounts for these things and they just it basically is a piece of flat bar that runs across and bolts right to the floor of the car now uh yeah not no i'm not doing that that's just not going to work uh i feel like it's just going to rip a hole through the floor especially with it being a manual car it just doesn't seem like a great idea uh, also, as you can see, the uh, floors are not in the best of shape. Uh, it's just a common issue with these cars. The floors go out. They're just, they're not made to last, <laughs> unfortunately. So, what we're going to end up doing is we're going to cut all this out. We're going to take the whole floor out. And when I say whole floor, I just mean like this all the way up to about here. And then um leave the tunnel alone and just basically redo the floor uh we do need to link uh connect the subframe together uh so what i'm going to do with that is take a inch and a half to uh probably inch and three quarters uh 120 wall tubing and attach it up to here and then run it all the way back to link it together with the subframe in the back of the car and then that will give this thing plenty of strength. But I'm going to do even more than that. I'm also going to make a tube that runs across here to over there to the other tube that will be on the other side to link the chassis together. And uh, I will then make a detachable uh, piece that comes out from right here and will attach to the transmission. Therefore, strengthening the, the chassis and providing me a transmission mount for this thing. I might also go ahead and run another tube 
that will also be detachable to from up here to over there to give it even more strength uh, because these cars are uh, kind of like tin cans they're they're very thin metal and when you put a ton of power to these things they uh they tend to twist and break and not good the stuff happens so we're going to try to prevent that the best we can plus it definitely going to help uh, with traction suspension and all that stuff with a nice stiff frame so yeah there you go um it's in the car i can't wait to get well, started with this i'm going to make new motor mounts for this but don't look hard to make at all because look at they're they're right there it's like it's like this motor is meant to be in this car and i freaking love it uh but yeah how about i show you guys the hood and put that thing on this to show you guys that it clears it and it clears with plenty of room when i say plenty of room i mean like quarter of an inch <laughs> but i'll throw the hood on real quick i'm gonna sit you guys down and uh kind of show you what this thing uh looks like Be right back Okay, so, as you can see, the hood's on the car. And it fits very, very well. Um, is it sitting, I think it's sitting further down than it should be sitting because usually there's uh, little bump stops that sit up here. So I think the hood actually sits higher. I could be very wrong because this right here is actually level. So it might be right where it's supposed to be. But the cool thing is with this uh, factory hump, right here in the middle of the hood, it gives the clearance that I need. And all I had to do is, uh, here, let me just lift this thing up. All I had to do is take off the oil cap and everything fits. So what we're gonna end up doing with uh, one of my mini valve covers I have over there, uh, I'll end up shaving off this and modifying this a little bit more so we can have as much clearance as we need from the hood to uh, everything. Yeah, hood to motor, yeah. So that should help quite a bit. Uh, and yeah, so uh, kind of done rambling along. This is the car, the motor fits, transmission fits. This is gonna be a dual, doable deal and I'm super excited about it and I'm super excited to bring you guys along for this build, this is going to be a cool build, and it's for sure happening now. Um, now that I know that everything fits with very little modifications, and yeah. So, yeah, that's going to do it for this one, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. Um, I can't wait to uh, start making motor mounts for this thing, uh, turbo manifolds, intake. I'm making everything myself. Uh, unless some deal light comes up that I can't really pass up, uh, other than that, I'm, I'm probably going to end up m making everything myself. I'll end up, I got a TIG welder, I've got a MIG, I've got, I've got more metal tools than I need to, uh, make all this stuff happen. So should be a doable deal. And I'm excited to bring you guys along, like I said. So yeah, I'm done rambling. Thanks for watching. See you guys on the next one. Bye.